All right. Okay. I did this review yesterday. All right, let's start with this. This is some Cherry Cindy I got from Nature's Medicine. It is a cross between Cinderella 99 and Cherry Sunshine Number no. 4 Indica Sativa Hybrid. 90% Indica Strong on the Indica side. Just... Sorry, I just got little nugs today. Couple little popcorns with me today. Just got like a cheese and kind of like a chocolate cheese Ch cherry. Yeah, hold on. This stuff's a little dry. It's been sitting in my cigarette pack. Let me grind it up and give you guys the rundown. The look. It's real nice. It's crystally dark. Covered in trichomes. It's very fresh. This batch was actually picked on the 8th. So it's only three or four days old now. You really want your weed to be on two months. So somewhere in uh, maybe mid-February this weed is going to be real good. But fresh is better than old. I always say that. So This stuff is very fresh. Alright, where to start? Where to start? First, my fuck-ups yesterday. I filmed this entire review. I did a good review too. Then when I went back to look at it, the whole thing was out of focus. My camera did not focus, so I am resorting back to the front screen so I can see what the hell is going on. Every time I use the other side of my phone, the front camera, the back camera, every time I use the other camera, something goes wrong. One time I filled it upside down, one time you couldn't see me, a couple times it was too blurry. Anyway, so Cherry Cindy has been around. I got to buy one, get one free from the Nature's Medicine over there in Happy Valley. And I went in there looking for uh, just a couple strains I never tried before. I went with the Chocolate Skunk because that's an old school. I've been on a search for the old school strains. The OG Kush, Bubba Kush, Northern Lights, White Widow, Chocolate Skunk, Thai... All these ones because, I don't know, I feel like I got higher in the 90s, so maybe it was like the old school strains work a little better. That was my understanding. So I got a Chocolate Skunk, and this Cherry Cindy, they've had it since the beginning now over there at Nature's Medicine. It's only 14%, so I always end up going with something a little stronger. Like, they got a bunch that are 20, 23, 24, so I just kind of brushed this one aside. But I see at the Reef Dispensary, Oasis Dispensary... White Mountain, a lot of these places have Cherry Cindy from Nature's Medicine on their bottom, 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 bottom tier. Cherry Cindy from Nature's Medicine, seven, eight dollars a gram. I'm like, oh god, that's got to be like some old stuff that they never sold. So I always just kind of consider this an old, dry, just boring ass strain. So we went home to smoke. I'm looking at the chocolate, at the chocolate fucking. Uh, it's not chocolate tie. Chocolate skunk. I was looking at the chocolate skunk, and then I, and then I started looking at the uh, chocolate skunk. Had some nice nugs in there. I was like, oh, we're smoking this one for sure. Until I looked at the cherry Cindy. The cherry Cindy had huge nugs. Very fresh. Picked the day before we bought it. So I said, okay, cherry Cindy, your time has come. Sorry, y'all, I'm burping. I just had... Some breakfast here. <laughs> Cherry Cindy, your time has come. I've seen you around. I've had my doubts about you. You look pretty terrible. So uh, we're going to try you out today. And I did. And it was wonderful. This is one of my top strains from Nature's Medicine right now. Let's get into it. First of all, the freshly ground smell. It smells like GMO. It smells like garlic, mushroom, and onion. A little cherry in there, but not much. I love the taste of this stuff. It's got a real sweet, smooth, it's not harsh, real sweet kind of cake, cheesecake. 
not a cheesecake, cake and a piece of cheese. Cake, piece of cheese on top. That's what it tastes like. It's very gassy. It's not super loud. When you open the bag, you wouldn't even know. It's once you grind it up that you get that real funk. <coughs> a garlicky cheese kind of rancidness to it. All right. It's for the thumbnail. Got some breakfast foods here that I want to be cooking up once I get into work. I got me some sausage, eggs, got me a little snack from Walmart. Get ready to get my cook on so you know I got to smoke first. And my boss is in there. There was a great flood last night. There was a great flood in the restaurant and instead of calling him, which I should have done, and had him race over and fix everything, I'm not trying to have that dude come in at 8.45, 8.30, because I'm trying to get out of there. I ain't trying to do no extracurricular activity. So I said, ah, when I leave, I'll tell him that there is a flood. Well, this morning, we were smoking, and I was like, oh, shit, I never texted my boss. So uh, he got a text this morning about 9 o'clock saying there might, the restaurant might be flooded. That's not how I worded it. My exact words were, I don't think the water is draining correctly still. Because he tried to fix it yesterday. He kind of fixed it. I said, I don't think the water is draining correctly still. I didn't say the kitchen is flooded. You need to get that ass in here. I said, there may be a little problem. So I imagine when I go in there, there's going to be some cleaning to do, some explaining to do. So I'm just getting as high as humanly possible before I go in there. I'm already high, to be honest with you. It is an indica sativa. <coughs> However, it hits you all here like a sativa, but it hits you hard, like a tired, <coughs> not a tired, like a knock you out kind of like head presence. <coughs> yeah, scale one to 10, I'm already like an eight. This stuff works real fast, tastes real good. The look is real good. The look is an eight, taste is a seven. The smell is an eight, the high is an eight. <coughs> it's probably put you at about 31 out of 40 total it's not bad at all anything over 30 is good yeah i know i don't do the ratings anymore but uh just trying to get back to some old school here got the old school strains smoking in the old school car got my weed in a cigarette pack like old school all right y'all i'm too high to think about what i'm what i'm going on uh, what i got going on it's hard for me to form thoughts or sentences. This is a real kind of scramble you up kind of weed, which some people don't like so much, but I like it. When I feel like I've smoked too much, I may die. Oh, did I smoke too much? Oh, that's perfect. That's what I like. Paranoia. Paranoia. Thinking you may die. That was a bigger one. That was that was bigger than I should have took. <laughs> <Damn. coughs> All right, everybody. <coughs> Just going to get my next one ready for work. For when my boss leaves. I'm very ritualistic. I smoke one before I go in so I can handle him. And then once he goes, I smoke so I can start my day. Then I'll usually get through some kind of little lunch rush, dinner rush, you know, I'll get 10, 11, 12 tables, and then I'll slow down, smoke again to boost me up. I then say that I'm going on lunch. No, lunch is my excuse to ride over to a Rio Vista Park and park my car and get super high. I might stop at QT for like an orange juice or something, but uh, no, my lunch is like my, my main smoke session. Today is a Sunday, though. It's a little different. We don't get lunch breaks on Sunday, so my boss says we have to have breakfast first. He used to buy it. He's fucking Mamon. Mamon. He's a little cheap, so now we get our own breakfast, and I cook for everybody. I got the sausage, eggs. We're going to do 
sausage and egg burritos with Colby Jack and American. We also got some onion rings and some crispy french fries getting ch chopped up, thrown into there with some tapatio. And that's it. We usually just do a spicy burritos in the morning and uh, start our day. This stuff will give you the munchies. I don't get the munchies so much when I smoke. For me, it's like uh, I kind of feel sick to my stomach after I smoke. Like my stomach is churning. After 30, 45 minutes, I will eat everything in the house. But right after I smoke, I can't eat. So uh, this smoke here is just to get me in there, get me cooking, get me through talking to my boss. Hopefully once all the food is ready and everything, I should be... I don't even know why I'm talking to you guys about this. This weed is going to have you talking your fucking ass off. There will be no anxiety, headaches, hunger. You will be thirsty. You will be very thirsty. This stuff has some severe cotton mouth associated with it. Uh, the thoughts, the sentences, the forming of sentences and thoughts isn't going to be the best. But what can I say, y'all? They got buy one, get one free over at Nature's Medicine on the half, the edibles, the pre-rolls, everything, BOGO. So go get you a buy one, get one free half. Right now, I'm suggesting probably the orange juice and the cherry cindy. However, the chocolate skunk and the Wi-Fi, the Hi-Fi 4G are also top contenders. Nature's Medicine stepped their game up, y'all. I used to go there because they were cheap. They grow and sell all their own stuff. It's kind of like in-house, everything in-house. They were cheap, but you know, it was always 15%, 16%. You'd have to smoke twice. You never really knew, but the last six or seven strains I've got from them have all been fresh. These guys are picking this shit. I haven't seen anything older than mid-November. Remember, it's not, it's not the best thing that it's fresh. You want to wait two months. The chocolate skunk, however, got done up uh, around Halloween time. So actually, when I do the chocolate skunk review, I'll show you guys that uh, it is perfectly cured. It is ready for smoking. Technically, you should take this stuff and wait two months before smoking it. But uh, fresh is better than old. Nature's Medicine definitely has stepped their game up. I don't know when I'm going back to Cure Leaf, but it's been a while. Until Cure Leaf has $70 ounces, I will not be going back there. They had the $90 ounces. They had the $90 ounces. You can mix and match. You can get eight different baseline eighths for 90 bucks. That was the best deal ever. It's better than two for 70 because you get eight different strains. You're not just getting two. You know, I like to smoke everything. But that went away. They still have their dumb little deals like the $55 mid-tier quarter and the $90 private reserve quarter. Like, that's a little economical, but it ain't no $70 buy one, get one half. So $72 after tax for an ounce at Nature's Medicine on 7th Avenue and Union Hills. Not Union Hills. 7th Avenue and Happy Valley. You want to take the I, Happy Valley. Happy Valley, just keep going. You're going to pass all the businesses, all the gas stations. Then all of a sudden you're like on this deserted road. Once you get to the top of the hill on that deserted road, you're going to hang a right. And right back there like... In the middle of the desert really is this dispensary, and uh, it's pretty nice. There's been a line. There's been a line. Don't forget to go inside first. You see a line outside, so you get into that line. No. Go inside first, check in, and then get your ass into that line. You can pre-order. They got online pre-order. You might skip a couple couple people in the quay. Q? Quay? Quay? You might skip a few people if you online pre-order, but you never wait more than 5-10 minutes there, so I definitely suggest that you all go check it out. As for me, um, my time is up. I'm supposed to be there at 10, it is 9.58, so uh, catch me on the next one, we'll be probably doing some chocolate skunk.